Well, hello scrappers, gold lovers, welcome back to my channel. Mike here, got the Mighty Mill out again. Um, we're going to try something a little different today. You've seen me crush up gold ore in this thing and pan it out. You've seen me crush up ceramic IC chips in this thing and get the gold out of them. Today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do some connectors. We're going to try some connectors. I can't guarantee this is going to work. The Mighty Mill might choke on these. It's not really made for crushing up um, metal connectors or plastic. So I don't know that this is going to work. The Mighty Mill might meet its match today. But um, I have a lot of connectors. Lots of different types. These are just a few of the different types. I have buckets full of them. And um, I've been talking to my friend Ken, who sends me a lot of interesting projects. And he was threatening to send me barrels full of connectors. And I'm like, Ken, I'm up to my ears in connectors already. i got to figure out a good way to process these things. And, you know, everybody says in the comments and they email me and say, well, use equal gold decks on them. Yeah, that would strip off the visible gold. That's true. The problem with these connectors and equal gold decks is they have a lot of internal space and uh, nooks and crannies where the pregnant solution can get trapped in there and not going to get it back out too easy. So some of these connectors, I think, are going to soak up more pregnant solution of equal gold decks then they're going to release in gold. So, what I've been looking for is a way to shred these, basically. You know, tear them up into little pieces. Um, whether I can separate the plastic and the uh, um, useless metal out or not, at least they'll be shredded, they'll be in pieces. I could run the stuff through Eco Gold X or some other gold plating stripper, get the gold off, and this stuff wouldn't trap a lot of the pregnant solution then and we get a much better yield because i think as it is a lot of this stuff's going to give us a terrible yield if i run it through eco gold x so i've been looking at ways to shred these things there are some commercial shredders out there that i'm sure could turn these into little bitty pieces but i happen to have the mighty mill so we'll try the mighty mill and see what happens some of these may not go through. They may, they may clog it up. Yeah, some of these connectors I don't think are going to go through the Grizzly all that well. Some of these may get caught up down there. But uh, we'll give it a try. Anyway, you've seen the Mighty Mill before. You know it can turn rocks and ceramic IC chips into dust in a split second. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to work on this stuff. I guess we'll find out. Um, but if you want a Mighty Mill, I'll put a link in the video description to uh, the eBay seller who sells these things. He makes them and sells them. As far as I know, he only sells them on eBay. Um, he makes them in batches, and as soon as he announces a new batch is coming along, you got to put in your order because they sell out almost immediately. These things are insanely popular. I waited for a long time to get my Mighty Mill because they kept selling out on me. So, uh, yeah, check out that link if you want one of these. I'm running it with my Ryobi corded angle grinder today. Um, when I use it in the field on gold ore, I'll use it with a cordless angle grinder. Battery powered. And it's truly portable. Okay. So, taking a little bit of a risk here. It's possible I could break the hammers in the Mighty Mill, but clever boy that I am, I bought a spare set of hammers for it. So if we screw up the hammers in here, I can replace them and I'll know, hey, don't do that anymore, okay? So, it's a little bit scary. But uh, let's try it. I'm going to put that in there and we'll see what happens. Ooh. Well, seems like it digested it. Let me try that. That's got a lot more metal on it. It is aluminum though, or I don't know, it's awfully light. It could be magnesium or something. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's, that's not exactly the way it goes when you put a hard piece of quartz in there or some, uh, some um, ceramic IC chips. They just get converted to dust instantly. Uh, looks like we got some, um, I don't know what's going on. Let me see what I can dump out of it. 
Oh, okay. So it's just beating the crap out of this thing. It's not actually destroying it. Ooh, it's hot. Wow. Okay, but ooh, I'll have to give you a close-up look at this. There's a lot of smashed up gold pins here. So yeah. Alright, so that that didn't work too good. Let's try something else. So this is an even longer D-shell connector. We'll see what it'll do to that. If it'll even go all the way down and in. I'm not sure. Oh wow! Yeah! <laughs> Purple plastic powder and lots of ground up pins. I'll give you a close up look at that. Well, when you look at that, it seems to be working on some of the connectors. Not so much on that one. It just beat the crap out of it. Not some of the pins out, but ooh, it's still hot. But uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So this is kind of what I wanted. I wanted to shred the connectors and expose all the gold without having a lot of nooks and crannies where the uh, Eco Gold X Pregnant Solution can get trapped. So that's that seems to be working pretty good. Let me try some other stuff in there. Okay, so some things work and some things don't. So I'm thinking the, these other round military style connectors with all the metal may not work. Well, I'm tempted to try this one. Maybe we'll try this one. This one doesn't work. We'll give it up. On, we'll give up on it. Did it. Go in. I think it went in. Okay. So we'll try it. It's just beating it up. I hear it getting kicked up and up towards the top. I can feel it hitting. Yeah. It's just pounding it, and it's hot. Yeah. Okay. So these uh. These military style connectors, even though they have a lot of nice gold pins on them, they just aren't going to work here. So we'll take those out and we'll try some other stuff. This connector has some nice gold pins in it. It's all plastic. We'll try that one. Ooh, not good noises. Not good noises. Wow. Uh, I think the Mighty Mill would much rather be. Whoops, I think the Mighty Mill would much rather be processing rocks. But yeah, it it did a number on it. A lot of plastic that pieces there, and some more gold pins. Some USB connectors. We'll throw a couple USB connectors in. A couple three. See what happens. about it but it shredded them. Let's see we got some sort of funky custom I don't know what that is some sort of proprietary connector it looks like a dual USB but it's different throw that in there HDMI connector here throw that in see what happens Quiet awful quick. What's going on there? Huh. Well, that's still pretty much whole. I see. Oh, I see what happened. Uh, the connectors jammed up. They didn't actually enter the chamber where the hammers are. Let me get something to poke it. Poke it down in there. I was thinking that wasn't working all that well. Okay, put that one back in. You have to take the cover off and see what I'm doing to the hammers in there. This is pretty violent. Oh, 
but it worked. Look at that. Reduced to plastic and bits of metal. Wow, I can even pull the steel out that way before I process this stuff. Cool. And I see lots of lots of gold pins in there. Very nice. Okay, do I dare try one of these? What the heck? We're here. Did it go in? Yeah, it looks like it went in. Probably not good for my grinder either. Ah, plastic, bits of metal, and pins. It did it. It shredded it. I wasn't happy about it, but it shredded it. Wow. Okay. This one's got a lot more plastic on it and rubber. Will it even go in? I think it went in. Yeah, it went in. shredded it. See, I think that one's too big to go in. We'll do one more. And then we'll look at what we got here. And I'll probably take the cover off the Mighty Mill and see if we've done any damage to it. Although, as much as the grinder's struggling, I suspect I'm reducing its lifespan. And I think maybe, yeah, I think maybe the alignment's off a little bit on it. It's it's moved here. But this will be the last part. We'll try this. Absolutely shredded. Whew. All right. I'll give you a close-up look at this stuff. Wow. Ooh, hot some of it. There's a big steel pin there. I don't know what that came from, but it is hot. Wow. All right. I'll give you a look at this stuff. And then we'll take the cover off the Mighty Mill and see what it looks like inside. I probably need to realign... The angle grinder, I see now that it's a tilt, the bearing's not straight anymore. I think we may be asking a little bit more of the Mighty Mill than it was designed for. But maybe something a little more scaled up and a little more robust might do the job. But I'll give you a look at this. Okay, there's a whole lot of shredded plastic in there. There's pieces of aluminum. There's bits of steel, but the pins are in there. The gold pins are in there. Yeah, they're in there. If you dig down, you can see them. They've been liberated from the connectors. And you know, I bet if I threw this stuff in some water, I'll bet a lot of this plastic stuff would float to the top and I could skim it off. Yeah, this uh, ball of aluminum there with some wires hanging out of it. I think the Mighty Mill did a pretty good job on the connectors I ran through it. I mean, I couldn't, it didn't, didn't want to work on these, and this one wouldn't fit down the throat. But, uh, I think it did a pretty good job on these. I'm just not sure that it, uh, it could do a large quantity of them without choking. Alright, let me get a wrench, take the cover off, and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. See if I've done it any damage. See if I can realign everything good. So the next time I need to crush some gold ore, gold ore, it'll be ready. I'll tell you what, the old mighty mill got plenty warm. Let me unplug it so I don't pick my fingers off or anything. That would be smart, huh? The old mighty mill got pretty warm doing this. Normally it doesn't get this warm crushing rocks. I think we had a lot of friction going on in there with that softer material. And the balls of uh, 
ductile metal getting hammered in there. So friction becomes heat. any more worn than they did before I started. The hard quartz I've been crushing in them and the uh, and the uh, ceramic IC chips have got the leading edges all pitted. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. But they are still solid looking. Tell you what though, this process tore up the gasket on the inside some. But on the whole, the Mighty Mill doesn't really look like it suffered any damage. I do need to align it. Everything's kind of tilted over this way. It's probably not showing up on camera. But the shaft coming through is tilted over this way. It needs to be centered up. I mean, you can see how this hammer is much closer to the edge dial than that hammer. Man, they're hot. So, yeah, I will uh, put the Mighty Mill back together. And I will work on getting it realigned so everything's straight on the straight and narrow on it again and tighten it all down again. Yeah. So we had, a, I think, a, a surprisingly good result. I mean, yeah, you can't process these, but hey, it wasn't designed to do any of this stuff. But all the other ones, well, it did a number on them. Look at the gold pins in there liberated from all that plastic and metal. So that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure the Mighty Mill will be long for the world if I did this on a regular basis with large quantities. But maybe if we could scale this up, then maybe, just maybe, we'd have something that could deal with connectors. So I'm going to keep that stuff for the next time I uh, run a batch of Eco Gold X. I'll put that stuff through it. Don't really have enough accumulated for that at the moment. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give the video a like, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see my future videos. There's going to be a lot more gold recovery videos. Mighty Mill is going to feature prominently in them in the future. And um, all kinds of other gold recovery videos. So. Subscribe to see those future videos. Press the little bell icon YouTube once you press to be notified when new videos come out. Um, check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64. There's always good stuff going on over there. New, a lot of new content going up on that channel too. So check it out, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. I got to put that back together. So see you in the next video. Bye.